Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video. And in this video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 most valuable LEGO Ninjago minifigures. Since Ninjago has been around since 2011, there have definitely been a lot of minifigures produced. However, in this video, these are the top 10 most valuable. I found it really interesting whenever I was researching the prices behind these minifigures and was shocked to find out that some minifigures were worth a lot more than I thought they would be. So be sure to stick around for the entire video so you can see all of the most valuable Ninjago minifigures and see if maybe you own a few of them as well. And while I'm still talking, I wanted to remind you all about my current LEGO giveaway that I'm hosting. I'm giving away the brand new LEGO Ninjago Stormbringer Dragon set. And all you gotta do is follow the instructions down in the description below. There is the official giveaway details down below, so be sure to check that out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. Number 10. Starting off this list at number 10 is the Overlord minifigure. This minifigure came solely in the Battle for Ninjago City set, which at the time retailed for 120 US dollars. Nowadays, if you would like to obtain this minifigure for your personal collection in a new condition, you'll have to pay about $15 to get him. This minifigure is still basically the only Overlord minifigure we've ever gotten in Ninjago, other than the Possessed Garmadon back in the season before this one came out, which ironically also retails for around a $15 price point these days. Number 9. Next up on this list is an exclusive J minifigure specifically for the LEGO Ninjago character encyclopedia updated and expanded, so basically the more recent one of the two. To be honest, this was one of the minifigures that I'd really overlooked. I had no idea that this minifigure nowadays goes for $17. Now keep in mind that all the prices that I'm using on this video have been collected from Bricklink. So basically I took the last 60 days of these minifigures being sold, averaged them out, and then came to a rounded estimate of the price that they're being sold at. So this one here is the J rebooted figure with of course its stone armor on. And you guys can see he also comes with a hair piece here, and like I said he comes with the character encyclopedia. And speaking of this encyclopedia, I do actually recommend it if you do not know a lot about the first couple seasons of Ninjago, up until around Skybound I believe it goes to. It a lot of different cool images of the minifigures and has a lot of information about those seasons as well. Still a really cool pickup and it also comes with an exclusive 2x2 printed tile of a comic book. Number 8. Coming in at number 8 on this list is Lloyd DX, and I always thought this was a very weird minifigure just because of the fact that Lloyd never got a DX uniform in the TV show, and so I always thought, you know, it was kind of an interesting choice, but it did come in an exclusive Target sort of cube promo with four different minifigures in there. And since it really was an exclusive release, this minifigure now retails for around $18 you'll have to pay in order to get your hands on this minifigure. This exclusive minifigure cube was a promo in Target stores, which basically if you bought a specific amount of LEGO products, you would get this for free. And then afterwards, I believe they were sold on their own. I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that was what happened. Nonetheless, this minifigure now is worth $18. Number 7. And here at number 7 on this list is the other character encyclopedia exclusive minifigure. Now this was basically the original character encyclopedia that went up until the Serpentine season of Lego Ninjago and nowhere further. But as for the exclusive minifigure, we got Kimono Lloyd, which was definitely a highly sought after one, and as a result, this minifigure now goes for around $20 if you would like to purchase him. This guy is definitely one of my favorite exclusive minifigures that have ever been really produced. I like him, I like how he came out, and is definitely nice to complete the line of ninjas in their kimono style outfits. Number 6. Coming in at number 6 on this list is the Constricti General Scalador, and he is the general, you guys can see that long black snaky tail in the back, he has a lot of really cool printing, and he only came in the Epic Dragon Battle set, which was a $120 set back in 2012. This guy nowadays goes for around $21 if you would like to get your hands on him. 
and is definitely a very unique and very cool minifigure to have. The Epic Dragon Battle set is still one of my favorite Ninjago sets that have ever been produced to this date and came with some amazing minifigures like this Scalador. Number 5 Next up is another snake general on this list. This is Fang Tom, leader of the Fangpire tribe. This minifigure has an extraordinary molded headpiece there with the two snake heads that come out of the top. This guy was one of the favorites back in 2012 and now retails for around 24 to 25 US dollars. This minifigure only exclusively came in the Fangpire Truck Ambush set, which was only a $50 set at the time. However, nowadays, it's very interesting to see that Fang Tom actually outvalues his fellow Serpentine member, Scalador, who had come in a $120 set. Number 4. Coming in at number 4 on this list is one of my favorite all-time Ninjago minifigures. This is Energy J, and although this minifigure came in its own spinner, so a $10 set, that spinner seemed to have some production issues in which there were definitely not enough to go around. That spinner set ended up becoming very very valuable, being sold for like $30, 3 times its value, whenever the sets were still supposed to be available to the public. I myself had struggles trying to find this set, in which I was trying to find this minifigure inside of it. This is Energy J, in which nowadays he goes for a whopping $25. But it really makes a lot of sense. I mean, look how awesome this minifigure is. I mean, this is my opinion, but I think he looks pretty cool. We all know from whenever he got to his true potential in the TV show, that is what the energy ninjas are. And this guy has a ton of different lightning bolt prints, even on his face. He's an all blue head with that printing on there and all those lightning bolts. He's a very extraordinary printing minifigure, even with printing on the back. And in general, the energy ninjas are just some of the coolest minifigures that LEGO has ever put out for the Ninjago line, and well, this one is quite valuable as well. Number 3 Coming in at number 3 is a minifigure you most likely expected to see on this list. This is the Pythor minifigure in purple, not white and he retails for around $27 nowadays. Now, this guy's real name, of course, is Pythor P. Chumsworth, but everybody just calls him Pythor. He's basically the main Serpentine villain of the Serpentine season of LEGO Ninjago. This guy was definitely one of my favorite snake minifigures. He has an amazing sort of print on him, as well as a very long neck. Of course, he's from the Anaconda tribe of LEGO Ninjago Serpentine Snakes, and he's a major role in the TV show in 2012. Number 2. Coming in at number 2 is the General of the Skullkin from the very first wave of LEGO Ninjago sets, by far the best minifigure from that wave. This is Samukai, and nowadays he retails for a whopping $31 if you would like to purchase him. Samukai actually came in two Ninjago sets, one being the Fire Temple and the other one being my all-time favorite Ninjago set that has ever come out, Garmadon's Dark Fortress. That set was around $60 in the United States whenever it did come out, and was an absolutely phenomenal set. And number one. Coming in at the top spot on this list is the Spitta minifigure. He won by a landslide. This minifigure is worth over a thousand US dollars. No, I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, the Spitta minifigure did not make the list. I wish it did. However, this minifigure is around an $8 price point if you would like to obtain him. The official number one spot goes to actually the general of Spitta's tribe. This is Asidicus, the general of the Venomari Serpentine tribe. This guy came in the Epic Dragon Battle as well, the same set that Scalador came in, but instead of being valued at around $21, this Asidicus minifigure is valuing at around $36, making it the most valuable LEGO Ninjago minifigure to this date. I'm not exactly sure why he's so much more valuable than Scalador, however, he just looks maybe cooler. I don't know, people like the Venomari tribe, but somehow this minifigure became a very valuable one, and like I said, now he's worth 
over 30 bucks, almost $40 at $36. Since this minifigure is quite an old one in Ninjago's history back from 2012, I doubt that any minifigure will really ever be able to surpass the value of Acidicus, but instead Acidicus' value will continue to go up as he becomes a more rare and older LEGO minifigure for the Ninjago franchise. If you have this minifigure, congrats to you, you have the most valuable LEGO Ninjago minifigure that's ever been produced. And with all those minifigures, that's going to wrap up today's video on the top 10 most valuable Ninjago minifigures. Now before you leave, be sure to comment down below how many of these minifigures you personally own. And if you guys are wondering how many of these I own, I own 9 out of the 10. I actually do not have a Lloyd DX minifigure, because since he doesn't actually appear in the episodes or the TV show, I didn't really think it was necessary to have him, I thought he was kind of irrelevant. He never had a DX suit in the show. Anyways, that's just my thoughts. If you guys have that minifigure, congrats to you. That's really cool. But like I said, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you guys do not miss out on any other Ninjago action. And of course, if you did like this video, be sure to give it, well, a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'm Spipricks, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video coming very soon.